welcome to the MBS Show, episode 207. I am your host, Kyle McCall, a.k.a. the Midnight Scribe, taking over from the always lovable Norman Sanzo, because he's feeling a little bit under the weather today, but he is here with us today. Norman, are you doing all right over there? Hello, guys. Uh, I'm not feeling too hot, but I'll be around. I'm not abandoning ship. I'm just giving the reins to Kyle to have a short throat and stuff, so I'm trying to keep the talking to a minimum. Well, you just take care of yourself, man, all right? We don't want you to lose your voice. It's an important part of you, especially since we can't see the rest of you. <laughs> okay. But we've got Norman here, and we also have Rolicious. Rams are delicious. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good over here. How are you doing over there? Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Work has been slow. Things have been quiet. Well, it is spring. The weather's changing. People, crazies, they're coming out. Yeah, just that period of time, you got to wait out. <laughs> Oh, yeah. But don't worry. Hey, look, the big business will be coming back again, and I've no doubt you'll be having more waifus in the gallery very, very soon. Well, I wouldn't call it big, but moving towards that direction, yes. <laughs> well, like you said, slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Amen. And today, exactly, amen. And we also have a very special guest of us today. He was on the show three years ago, before, way before my time, so this is my first time meeting him. But it is an incredible artist on DeviantArt. He's also on Tumblr. Great guy. His name is Nathan Barlow. Nathan. Hi, guys. Hey, what's happening, everyone? How are things? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're here. We're alive, kicking. Norman is clinging on to life over there. Oh, no way. Oh, I hope he gets well, man. He's a really good friend. And definitely he needs to rest up and heal up. That's the main thing, you know, especially with bad weather and everything. Because i got like a storm here for the rest of the weekend and it's not looking pretty. So <laughs> Hopefully it won't be too bad down there because um, you're in the UK as well, aren't you? Uh, yes, I am. I'm from South Wales, I am. So um, pretty much it's, I'm just living in the valleys. So it's pretty much, uh, you know, it's like um, valleys, lots of hills, lots of trees and green. A bit like Equestria, but uh, I don't think it would be as peaceful, but it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, Wales is a lovely part of the country. It's actually a lovely part of his own country. It's also part of mm-hmm. the United Kingdom. You might have gathered that I might not have been great at geography. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, you and me are in the same boat, my friend. I never was that good in school. So, you know, uh, but uh, it's all good. It's all right. We'll, we'll never be bingy. But, uh, exactly. Yeah. Well, he, well, either way, the main important part is the fact that you're here and it is great to have you on. Now, you've been on the show before, Nathan, and normally we tend to ask four important questions to our guests. But since you've been on before, we're just going to ask you two of them, which is, firstly, who's your favourite character? Oh, now that is a really, really difficult question because I like a lot of characters out of my little pony, so it's really hard. Um, <laughs> but definitely my favourite character will always have to definitely be Pinkie Pie because um because I have ADHD and I kind of feel like um I have a kind of thing where because like she's like hyperactive she's a good nature and she always like the party kind of like me so I just kind of always think you know like well randomness and pretty much you know anything witty you know or probably something to make people laugh is pretty much what I could do and you know she's a wonderful character and really it just kind of responds to me like you know so really it is good. So I, I'm sorry we're not much of a description, but uh, uh, there's a second favourite character I have is uh, Derpy, and she is definitely one of my top on the list because, uh, well, because I like muffins and I'm sometimes clumsy myself, and you know, I mean, I can relate to her as well. So it's a lot of ponies you can uh, relate to within the show. I mean, and that's really one thing I love about watching my little pony because it's like a lot of like life lessons involved as well. Uh, some things that it was like, um, I had a few problems back in the past and they were kind of similar to, uh, what was in the show. And pretty much that's why I love watching the show and pretty much just, well, friendship is magic after all. <laughs> so, oh, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that, that is totally true. I think all four of us can agree on that as well as everyone actually mm-hmm. watching. But I'll tell you yeah. what, just on a side note, not related to the two questions, but you did say that you do have some similarities to Pinkie Pie. Do you have a glitter cannon? Oh, I don't know about that. Sorry. <laughs> oh. I'm really sorry. I, I, I always get confused with the term. What is canon? And everyone's keep asking me that. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> you know so, but uh, I'll probably think about it next time, maybe. But uh, I had uh, no idea on that. I'm sorry. <laughs> give, give me a second. <laughs> Kyle, why are you asking about the glitter canon? Because Pinkie Pie's 
favorite thing at any party is the glitter cannon. I thought it was the party or cannon. The... Party, is that a party cannon. cannon. Yes, oh, gl- yes. Glitter party confetti. It's all there in the cannon. <laughs> I've I've got a few ingredients. I'm in Scotland. We don't have all the ingredients. We've got a lot of glitter. But... <laughs> uh, it's, it's, all, it's all good, my friend. Don't worry. It's the same <laughs> in Wales. We now have all of it, but uh, ah, we always make do. Uh, improvise. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, that's what Pinkie yeah. Pie would do. Like, if she didn't have glitter and confetti, she'd find something else to put in there anyway. So, I mean, it's, it'd be found something for the party at any rate. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a way to kick off the weekend, let me tell you that. <laughs> oh, definitely. You'd hear that all throughout the Highlands and Wales. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mm. But I'll tell you what, we've asked about your favourite character. How about your favourite episodes? I mean, we've actually, this, i got to be honest, I, I don't know about you guys, I swear the more we do the show and the more seasons this show is going to have, this is going to become harder to answer because we're already <laughs> on, like, how many episodes? 105, 10 odd? I don't know what we're on now. Yes, I know. I know it's a really difficult question for me because I love every one of them. And I can't choose, but if it had to be one, it'll have to be a uh, part of one. Uh, because with Pinkie Pie, when she had a, I think it was the press side, when she was like alone and uh, pretty much that, I think I wanted to know her. And I kind of feel in that same situation before when I was in school, uh, cause I used to get bullied a lot. And, uh, you know, I used to be feeling alone all the time. And I feel like I have like a, a double person. I like, I have a happy one and I have a, you know, a depressed one, but. You know, when I uh, met new friends in school, then it will change. You know, I, I mean, I do feel down sometimes, but as long as I've got my friends around, I feel great. You know, so it's good to have friends, you know, and it's really good to keep happy, especially when you feel down at times. And, you know, you just got to pick yourself up and just keep on smiling and keep on going, you know, that's basically much it. So, yeah. Well, def- yeah. Definitely. The entire truth is great to have friends around you who are able to get you through those l- low oh, times. Oh, absolutely. I mean- I mean, that's definitely one thing that I've noticed when I, since becoming part of the fandom and uh, being involved in the MBS and so on, is the fact that I've been introduced to so many people who have mm-hmm. become great friends and been able to actually help me through those times. It is fantastic, the community aspect of it. And no doubt you'll experience that on your own when you've been working on your art. Uh, yes, absolutely. I mean, well, I remember when I first started creating artwork was to help uh, Kiki Havaby, who was... Uh, Tara Strong's um, friend's daughter, uh, Army Havavi. Um, uh, basically, what it was, uh, when I first started going on Twitter, I was real new to the fandom. I did, you know, I didn't know anything about how to draw vector arts and all that. Uh, but then when I heard through Tara Strong, who tweeted, said that uh, there was a little girl who was suffering from a brain tumor. You know, I, I was, I was heartbroken when I heard the news. And that mostly everyone in the entire fandom, we just all decided to jump in and help. So we like we raised up a lot of money. We did fundraising. Uh, so you go for a couple of conventions as well. We did that. And I know I didn't have money to donate at the time, but all I could do was, uh, create original character for Kiki, uh, to spread the word and, to, you know, so a lot of people can help out as well. Um, but when she passed away, you know, it, it, it kind of took a turn on me because I, I, I just couldn't stop crying for the entire day when I heard the news. I was shocked, but, uh, I, I made a solemn promise. After when I tried to do my best, I'll keep and so did everyone. I promised I would keep creating these true art collections, which was originally, originally dubbed by my friend Purple Tinker. And I would definitely keep on creating them for everyone. And if I, if I can't help in any ways of donating money or anything, then the least I can do is create art to bring hope and smiles to people, you know, because I care, you know, and like I said, it's the only good thing I can do. It's the main thing is it's better to do good than bad things. You know, I mean, I don't mind disco because, yes, you got to have, a, like, a party breaker and so and so. But, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's good to do a lot of good than bad. You know, I'm, I'm going to definitely keep to my promise and I'm going to definitely keep creating fan art so, for everyone. Well, it's such a great thing to, you know, for yourself to give back to the community like that. I mean, it's one thing mm-hmm. that I've always enjoyed about the My Little Pony community and the Bronies is the fact that, you know, like you were mentioned there, that obviously you haven't been able to necessarily donate to things. And, you know, we've all yeah. got our, uh, like, things that we've got to look after, you know, you know, look after number one. But the fact yeah. you're able to then use your art to help out, I mean, it's those sort of things that, you know, make the fandom special and, and show off just how great a lot of the people are in this community. How long have you been doing art for? Uh, I have been doing it for about uh, three years because uh, the thing is, uh, when I heard about the news from Kiki, I started to ask on Twitter uh, if anyone knew a program I could use to create artwork. And wh- one of the bronies, I forgot the name, and I'm so sorry, but a big massive thank you to the brony community for this because if it weren't for the brony fandom, I wouldn't have been able to create fan art to begin with. 
because it was so supportive and I got wonderful friends from the fandom, you know, and I'm just really glad to be a part of it. Uh, and then I downloaded this program called Inkscape, which is a free vector editor program. So, and I started messing with the tools, I experimented, created all the original art, and then I managed to create some artwork to send into Army, uh, Kiki's father. So you'd be able to give to Kiki to help support, uh, like raise money in charity auctions, etc. Um, I'm also, to this day now, um, I've also created a original character for Olivia. Um, this is, um, Army just let me know, I was thinking this was about a good last month, uh, there was a little girl who was suffering from lung cancer, uh, but she's going through recovery now at the moment, but they also have the fundraiser. So I thought if I give a shout out to, um, well, like I said, I'll probably include the, the link probably on the Twitter later. She could definitely do all the help that she needs, like, because, like I said, like, you know, we'd help Kiki, and it, it'd be a good thing as well to help Olivia out as well, you know? So, yeah, just saying there, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> so, no, no problem at all. We'll certainly busy. try and spread it around as well, because, like you said, everyone mm. likes to help out the, everyone else in the brewing community and those outside of it wherever we can. I mean, fundraisers and so on are, you know, kind of part and parcel of the kind of friendship club that we have, you know, as yes. part of the brewing community. And mm-hmm. speaking of Friendship Club, you know, we've actually got a bit of news here. And this is a, particularly for those in the UK. I'm sorry if you're anywhere else, Norman. Um, <laughs> but yes, there is the My Little Pony Friendship Club is launching the Friendship Tour in UK. And I believe, I'm just going to check the dates. This is through March, April, May. And then it's taking a break back in August. And they're touring uh, several destinations in the UK. Uh, particularly they're in Cardiff, uh, they're in Bristol, Brighton, Birmingham, Bournemouth, and one or two other places. So if you know, if you want to bring kids there, if you want to have a look there, I know there's going to be, um, I think there's going to be face painting, uh, there's going to be toy demos and a few other things like that. And apparently this bus is going to be, uh, traveling around the cities before Easter as well to do a bunch of pony related things, which is absolutely fantastic news. Although am I only just one wee moan, just a brief moan? Oh, okay. Why? Mm-hmm. They're not in Scotland! <laughs> oh. I'm, looking, I'm looking at, I kid you not, I'm looking at the map here. They've got the UK, ignoring Northern Islands. I do apologize, Northern <laughs> Islands. You are part of here as, as well, but they've decided not to include you in this. They've ignored you, and they've also ignored Scotland. I kid you not, if you look at the map, they've got this, <laughs> it, uh, we'll include a link in it to the, the news item, mm-hmm. but I, it, like, we've got this map, and you've got all these little pink horses pointing out all the different locations it's going to be cheering, and it doesn't yeah. go any, it doesn't go beyond the border, like, Scotland's there, this big giant green lump with nothing <laughs> there. <laughs> Just like, oh, I'm sorry, our bus can't make it up there. <laughs> oh. I think so, they have the worry with hills. I mean, come on, a question's got hills. There's nothing wrong with hill climbing. Come on. <laughs> I know. Sure, they can use a bit of magic oh. or some alicorn powers or something just to get us up there. So I'm afraid, yeah. Scottish people, I do apologise. If you want to go see the Friendship Tour, you're going to have to go down south. But they are doing the tour throughout, the, like I said, through spring and then through August as well. And uh, so, yeah, have, make sure to have a wee visit to their website if you want to book yourself a point in that tour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. At least you guys get the party bus. We don't. Well, put it this way. I mean, it's a bit too far from where I am. So I think I'm going to stay in the Dragon Hills where I belong. <laughs> so pretty much. People people need me here. So I can't let them down. Uh, <laughs> complaining. You can guys, you guys can just take a train or a bus. I need to take a freaking plane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone's got to fly sometime. <laughs> That's how true. how far is it for you guys? Like Nathan, how far is it for you to go to the closest location? Uh um closest location I well, I've not had a really good check on the site, so I don't know. Uh, I mean if you had one in Bristol maybe I could get Oh there is Bristol. Not... Bristol's there and Cardiff yeah. is there. Oh Cardiff oh Cardiff. That'll be just forty minutes on a train. No, at least half an hour, because I got a train station which is directly in my village. So it's only just about from my house, about five minute walk down. And then they, and then on the train, eight pounds, I think, for a return, and I'm straight in Cardiff. So, happy days. The last day is two days, so I don't think I'll be going anytime soon. Oh no! Yeah, not, not Cardiff anyway. No. Oh, yeah, I gotta, want... I gotta... oh. No, sorry. Want... <laughs> sorry, no, it has to be... I know we're excited, we're excited. Well, if it turns out, I mean, obviously yeah. we can't beat Cardiff, but Bristol is around from the 11th to the 14th of August, mm-hmm. which is an, a slight alternative. I'm, it's not quite Cardiff, I can only apologise on that one. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's all good. Um, but, uh, but I, I a, oh, I'm trying to figure out now, because they had a few going around as well. There was one in Cardiff, one in Bristol. 
uh, I don't know, London maybe the one half. I mean, I mean, yes, it would probably cost. But if they had one at least near the Scotland, maybe or ones that they may update their um, uh, site. You never know. So it's best to wait and see. And you know, so I think that's the best thing to do really at the moment because they do usually sometimes change um, their locations anyway. So yeah, you yeah. know, so you may keep your hooves crossed. You never know. Well, at least you guys can have a convention soon enough. Uh, what's that? Brony Scott? Oh yes, Brony Scott is in November. It's actually in Glasgow this year. They've moved it from Edinburgh to Glasgow. So that'll be, although it's in the same chain of hotels, I believe it's still the Hilton Grosnever. It's just going to be in Glasgow this time. So that's a good place. Uh, I think Nathan can get ready if he wants to go. It's what, in November? So yeah. I may do, may do, I don't know. Um, well, I, if I can get enough money to go, because I know I won't be able to make it to, uh, BuckCon yeah. this year, which will be a magic. I know it's the last one. I really wanted to go. But since my nan hasn't been feeling the best and, you know, family needs me at the moment, I, you know, I'm going to have to miss it. I mean, if it was, if it was a chance to have like a live Skype call, maybe, then I'll be perfect. You know, I wouldn't mind doing that. But, uh, sadly, no, I won't be able to go. So, yes, yeah, uh, Oh, no con for me this year, so. <laughs> ah. Yeah. It's all good though. I, like I said, I got, I got Twitter, uh, I got like, you know, uh, Tumblr as well, so I'll be able to keep in, you know, keep in touch with everyone. So, you know, you get, you could all have fun in the convention, I can still keep in touch and hopefully Skype calls me up and I don't know. So it depends if I can get the time to do it as well. So, and find a place as well to, well, talk long hours as well. <laughs> probably. Of course. So, Nate. Uh, you said you've been drawing for three years now, and <laughs> coincidentally, mm-hmm. you've been on the show three years ago. So, uh, has anything changed for those past three years? Uh, yes. Um, with the way I created the two our collections beforehand, I've only created like 15 um, pieces instead of 10. Uh, I, the reason why I put it down to 10 art pieces each is because, you know, it makes it more easier to create and more quicker. So, it's, it's kind of so I could kind of like mass produce it. Uh, like I made like uh, different art, like I made some for patches, so you know, like I could turn them into stickers or, uh, you know, like uh, the badges maybe. Um, I also created uh, harmony posters, which if I had the money and the resources to, I could actually turn them into LED um, box art. So like basically, like with the lights on the the harmony tree, as you would see in season two. Um, they have like they all shine up with light. So with all the different colors, if I can get LED lights to put within those lights, then they'll be able to light up in the dark. So it lights up like you have your little nice LED lit um, harmony poster in a box, similar to um, I think it was paper uh, paper ponies. I think it was. I think uh, the paper pony. I think they they do all these lovely arts. Uh, paper craft is like they cut pieces and they join them all together to make uh, pony pictures, like glittery ones, and they're lovely. Yeah, no, similar to that. I remember those, I remember those, yeah. And uh, Nate, thanks for the art, man. Like, you drew my OC a while back ago. And oh, that was... you are so welcome, my friend. Hey, besides, everyone deserves to, to have their own pony. So I'm going to definitely keep on creating um, every set for each person I can. Because I've got about 200, well, over about 260 art sets. So that's about 2,600 art pieces altogether. And you can find them all on my Tumblr. And they're also on my DeviantArt as well. And they're all free to download and share. So they, cause it's fan art, it's 100% free. No need to pay for commissions at all whatsoever. All they require is, uh, your OC pony, uh, cutie mark and a pony name as well. And then I'll be able to create it for you. Absolutely free. There you go. And Nick, with your permission, I've been using, uh, one of your art as the cover oh. picture. Oh, that's no problem at all. You're very welcome. Go for it. <laughs> oh, is it? I, I think. Uh, I picked the, which one was it? I think would it be the pointy pony, would yeah, it be? Yeah, the pointy pony. Yes, yeah, yeah. I like that. I know, I know I had to give massive credit to General Zoe because and I, I'm trying to, no, I'm trying to figure out who was the one who originally started making these pointy ponies because I know it was based off in the window cells in the, um, the window panes in My Little Pony, the show. Uh, I'm trying to figure out fan wise who started making all the pony bounty art because I want to give a big massive shout out to her because it, I kind of had a bit of inspiration. I had inspiration from the fandom as well when they're making all this cute pointy pony art and i was thinking well that'd be awesome to add in the two art collections you know everyone can have an oc pony like poster and they can have like their own little pointy pony as well and a show style one to be exact as well so um yeah you know a big massive shout out to you guys i mean i owe you big time yeah definitely <laughs> the pointy ponies are cute i i, I love how <laughs> what you did with them 
Yeah, well, I, I always like to create cute artwork because, you know, like I say, I do like cute things. And there's nothing wrong, you know, just being like an, an adult liking cute stuff, mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. I mean, because I got like a few friends of mine who like cute stuff. Like I said, like, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, because I, I watch like anime and manga, well, read manga as well. Uh, but I always like what, what, watching cartoons on Saturdays. I mean, it's, it's what I usually do every single weekend, <laughs> you know. So uh, it's good to chill out and watch cartoons. It, it cheers me up, really. You know, if I have a bad time in the week, then at least i got something to watch, which uh, put a smile on my face and, you know, kind of make my week a bit better. So hopefully. <laughs> yep. That's the power of entertainment. Uh-huh, exactly. <laughs> oh, indeed, no, indeed, indeed. Well, I tell you what, uh, I'm not, I, I wish I had a segue. This is really annoying. You see, Norman, you're <laughs> oh, kind of the master of segues when you do this. Cause it's like, uh, what I, cause normally what he does, <laughs> if you haven't watched the show before, is Nathan would have said something, you know, about him. And Norman yeah. would find a way of twisting it round to somehow make it, you know, be about the news <laughs> item he wants to talk about, which is a bit annoying. Really, he <laughs> deserves an award for being able to do that. And speaking oh. of awards, <laughs> oh, oh yes. no. A segue for me, man. Right. That'll be like the best birthday present what ever. Up. <laughs> there we go. There's a segue for you. And in terms of awards, here's the greatest news. MLP has been nominated for a Daytime Emmy Award, mm. which is absolutely fantastic. Wow. It has been nominated for a, a song that was on the last season, The Magic Inside by Daniel Ingram and Amy Keating Rogers, which has been nominated for the best original song in a non-drama series. Wow. So, yeah, which is absolutely fantastic getting a daytime or getting nominated for a daytime Emmy. That is fantastic news. N- nothing to be sniffed at. Mm-hmm. And the song, The Magic Inside is the episode where Laura Hall made her appearance. I think that was season five, episode 24. I do remember, it's been a while now. So, uh, that song was the one where she kind of went acoustic and it was a really good song. I, I think I liked that song a lot during that whole scene. Now I need to remember what episode was that. But yeah, uh, getting nominated for that song, oh, the pet, it's really good. Oh, yeah. Listen, nothing to complain about all. So obviously nominations, uh, the actual event will be for a while yet. So, um, we'll have to kind of, you know, keep our hearts from beating out of our chest for we well. But the fact that they've gotten nominated, I mean, it's a great sign that the show is, you know, getting a bit of critical allocate as well, and not just, you know, what the the fans offer as well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. At least the general public, or I won't say general public, what was it called again? Like, at least people in the industry recognize when something's good. The thing is, I think it's because when it gets recognition, it's because, because to be honest, it was a well-made show and i mean i i am a huge fan of laura post's work and especially the entire team who've been working on my little pony because it, to be honest like this is why i love about with shows because you've got a lot of, like a major huge audience like i know it would have been targeted uh for young children but then when you got other targets like uh, for adults for example who watch that as well you'd be very surprised how much of an impact that show has put on for everyone's lives and it's a really good thing and, you know, I'm glad they got, they got nominated for award, and I hope they win it, because it's a really good show in the daytime, you mm-hmm. know, definitely. Well, I so, tell yeah. you what, I've actually just got the nomination sheet here for um, the Outstanding Original Song. They're up against four others. Uh, I'm going to go through them. Um, mm. I'm afraid that the shows themselves I'm not familiar with too much, so if you happen to know them, feel free to chip in. But um, mm-hmm. nominations are uh, Fairy Tale Wedding uh, Pegging, from Pegging Cat. Which is, um, mm. no, no, no idea that. No, I've yeah. never heard of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That that song is by um, D.T. Jackson and Kevin Dell uh, Aguila. I do apologise if I'm that wrong. That's uh, that shows on PBS. We've got um, setting song Little Froggy. That's from Bubble Guppies, oh. and that's by Michael Rubin. My three year old nephew watched Bubble Guppies. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Oh, hey, that's brilliant. You'll be able to have a conversation with him. I don't. I highly doubt it. I say it's pretty cool. Go on. I mean, like I say, anything's gonna watch. You got know, friends. Come on, seriously. <laughs> yeah, well. Hey, listen. If you if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. And uh, that shows on Nickelodeon. If you don't have to know that, mm-hmm. um, we've got the MLP song there. Um, next song is True Bromance. Uh, that's from All Hail King Julian. Nice. Uh, <laughs> and that's uh, by Frederick Weedman and Mitch Watson. And that's that show's actually on Netflix. 
Is it? Oh, nice. Oh, I'll probably check it out then. Now, the thing is, because I got Netflix as well, but I never had a chance to watch a lot of stuff on there. So, because I've been too busy, like, working on fan art as well, you know, and having music blast in my ears, like, to full speed volume. And, yeah, pretty much. I may check it out later, because I'm starting to watch quite a lot on Netflix now anyway, especially all the My Little Pony episodes too, and uh, there's other cartoons as well, even uh, cartoons targeted for... um, uh, adults as well, you know, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, pretty awesome. I'll probably watch it later. So yeah. yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I might give you another show to watch then because the other nomination is actually also from Netflix. This is um, we're going to space die, and this is from Turbo Fast by Halle Cuffery and Todd Garfield. Ooh, nice. So, which is what I find intriguing about this list, apart from the fact MLP is nominated, which is brilliant. Is the fact that two of the five nominations are from Netflix, the leading online. TV network. This mm-hmm. is actually quite interesting that they're actually, I mean, obviously I, I don't tend to follow the nominations hugely well, but the fact that they're, they're getting the awards there or getting the nominations, it shows that they're infiltrating quite well. But by the way, um, for Turbo Pass, do you guys remember that movie Turbo with the snail? Yeah, that was a good movie. Yeah, this is the animated series. The oh, man nice. animated series. Yep. Mm. Of course they <laughs> So yeah, uh, it's pretty interesting, and well, I hope My Little Pony wins, but I'm not sure. Like those other two shows, probably they have a good show. You need to watch it just to compare. But my money's on My Little Pony. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. I big huge votes from me for that show because come on, ponies rule. Simple as. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're cute, they're cuddly, and they are random. Which is pretty much why Piggy Pie is my favorite pony. So, <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's a good show. Definitely. I, I give it 10 out of 10, definitely. So, I hope they do win, actually. You know, it'll be great. So, Nate, you're well known for drawing the arts. And one of the things that I notice on your given arts and whatnot is that when you post your art, you tag people. And when you tag, you tag the art that it's meant for. And yes, yes, I know. I know it may be a bit annoying. Oh, no, but, no, no. Uh, it's not that. Uh, for me, I appreciate it. But one of the few things that I notice is that you tag people like Lauren Faust. Like you drew something for her. And Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the thing is, because uh, I didn't really want to uh, annoy from the TV and all. And I'm real sorry, Lauren, if you're here. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, the thing is, um, with uh, the credits, I always make sure, because uh, she produced the show. And I didn't know who the creator was, because I know she produced it. Um, but uh, when I do with the fan art, I always make sure to get the correct credits in or do my best to make sure I got the right credits in because it's, it's, it's the right thing to do to respect the artists who help produce the show and all create it. Um, yeah, so it was kind of a bit of a, a problem. I mean, I do kind of have a thing for doing it. So, um, which uh, I kind of may have to stop, but then again, <laughs> you, you know, I mean, I, it just kind of makes it feel, I don't know, pretty much, uh, well, easier, I guess. So at least because if people want to look for their artwork on my demon art, then all they have to do is type in like with a hashtag or with their name and then it should pop up, you know, mm-hmm. it makes it easier. That's the reason why I target luck. Um, but uh, it's like, because I also started work on other artwork now, apart from My Little Pony. I, um, if you see on my Tumblr, my Divina, I've made three posters of Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup from Pope of Girls. And I also did a set for Timmy Turner from um, Fairly Odd Parents, which is, I think it's uh, 15th anniversary. I don't know when, but I think it should be soon. I think it was last week. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, so I decided to... Yeah, just create it because, well, it is good to create something else, you know, apart from my little pony all the time. It's good to expand my wings. Oh, if, <laughs> true if that, the correct true saying. That. Yeah. So do any of the people you tag notice them and uh, give it a like or comment or something like that? Well, I, I mean, I have trouble from trolls. I have to say it because I I keep getting annoyed by them um, with fake accounts and all that. So, but I want a big... Big mass apology to anyone on Twitter if I accidentally block. I really am sorry, but you try and deal with trolls day in and day out. It is annoying. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, definitely what I do is, um, yeah, like, everyone's welcome to comment. Everyone's welcome to fave, like, and share. You know, go for it. Go nuts. You know, I'm happy. You know, I'm glad to cheer people up with my fan art. And, you know, I'm glad to keep creating it, you know. So it's a hobby of mine. So I love it. What you're doing here is just awesome, like, just people enjoying like I I enjoy the art and thanks a lot man. Yeah, you're very welcome, bro. I mean, come on, you and me are mates as well. And same goes for all you. You're all my friends, like you know. Seriously, 
<laughs> You're like family to me, man. Like, come on. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, man. Anytime. Hmm, what do I say now at this point? Norman, please, can you teach me? How do I get to the end of the show? I don't know. I mean, usually I just talk a lot, look at uh, guests and ask guest questions. And by the way, Nate, what are you going to have? Because earlier on, I, I think we cut that out, but uh, you said food arrived. So what are you going to have? Oh, yes. Um, well, I just got two boxes of 10 pieces of scampi. And I got a double cheeseburger with salad and tomato sauce. So I'm going to have a lot of that now after this show. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, You're making me stop. hungry. Don't, don't feed the dragon, buddy. You have to. <laughs> Red dragons need energy. So mm, You're making me hungry. Yeah. As, as a person who is recovering from sickness, I am very hungry right now. <laughs> Well, I think the best thing for sickness will be a nice hot bowl of soup and bread and butter. Oh. It always works for me. Oh, that sounds good, man. Scampi. Scampi! Scampi! I, like, I haven't had scampi in years. I just, I've, I've got a bit of a craving now to see, like, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, Scotland, or at least Inverness, you can't, it's not often you can go into a restaurant and find scampi. Yeah. I know. I mean, we got like a couple of kebab places around here now, and they do scampi, which is very fortunate because it is very way in other places in Wales where you can actually get scampi. Uh, but uh, I think in Cardiff you can get it there as well. But I don't know about other places, like if there were smaller places. But uh, I tell you what, it is stunning with tartar sauce, which is really lovely to have it with because it's the only thing which goes well with scampi. Oh, well. you know? now I need to try this thing that you are calling the scampies. <laughs> Yes, scampi, scampi, yeah, scampi's like, it's basically like fish balls, like a little bit of fish and um, wrapped up in a nice crispy, um, I think, uh, I would say pastry, but I wouldn't go that far. I think it's like crunchy pastry, some, uh, it's a kind of like breaded. Yeah, 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 that's it, yeah. And it's really lovely. Aye, real nice. Uh, no, you're making me jelly. So what <laughs> if they have scampi in Equestria? I don't. Or is that more Manhattan? <laughs> I think, I think it's hay, hay, I, I don't know. Actually, that's, very good one. Because <laughs> you know that there's people there that have like, the import export list. There must be somewhere, somewhere in like Manhattan or somewhere, there must be some import export guy who's got a clipboard attached to a wall that has <laughs> import scampi, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. I wouldn't mind going for a trip over there and eat all of it. I'd be like, no, 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 no. Yeah. That's actually, um, I didn't actually want to tell you this guy is um, this news from season six, but actually one of the episodes is actually about the importing of scampi. Oh god, no spoilers! Oh I mean, no, I, I know. That's, I think that's going to be episode nine. Like Discord is going to ask that you know we have to bring in the scampi, and so basically he's just going to keep bringing in boxes and boxes and boxes until the whole city is trapped in scampi. Oh, that is such a nice dream. I like that. Would be, that would be the most best episode ever. I know. Well, that's an insult to me. <laughs> exactly. But his actions would have been a little bit fishy. I think. <laughs> Wait, it's fish food? Well, it'd be yeah. stupid with the fishes. <laughs> yeah, they got me out. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway. Uh, thanks again, Nate, for answering our questions. And uh, it's been fun having you, man. Ah, oh, you're very welcome. Um, I hope to make a return, hopefully. But uh, yeah, if you guys want me back on, yeah, just let me know. I'll definitely mm-hmm. come back on. Even though, even though maybe random, maybe boring, maybe. Maybe. Not boring? At all. No, no, I don't no. think so, man. A moment with you <laughs> is all. never boring. Exactly. And listen, oh, like, hopefully the next time you'll be on. Hopefully next oh. time you'll be on, you won't wait three years. We'll actually get you on a lot faster. <laughs> I know. I, I have to keep up with at least a time traveling spell to make that happen. <laughs> and Kyle here has his own show, so maybe on his show? Ooh. Oh, of course we could have him on Creative Vibes. Oh, listen, listen Actually, I, you know what I've realized? I haven't oh. done a plug for my show in weeks. I don't really. Do I'm so used to like when I before I became a proper host, um, and I was just mm. appearing on multiple episodes. The running gag was that I would um, try and fit in as many plugs for my show, Midnight Scribes Creative Vibes, on the Hound Bronies channel as many times as I could during an episode. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So. Yeah, if you want to watch my next guy's creative vibes, perhaps if you want Nathan Barlow on it, well, just why don't you leave a comment in the video? We could make it happen. I uh, sure, and I hopefully I may come up with some more interesting yet random stuff to talk about. Hopefully, maybe, maybe not, but you never know. Yeah, it could happen. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have emails this week. That is rare. So anyway, um, Ro, why don't you read this one, man? Let's see now. <clears throat> 
Hello, I just want to start out by saying I love your podcasts. When I wake up to have some coffee, I always listen to your podcast. When did you start a podcast channel and did you expect this? Did you expect to get this far? Will you have any other special guests that are almost non pony related? Torterra 1324 was funny in your podcast. You should put him in a podcast with Tune Critic since they're both red and black OCs. That's pretty much all I got so far, but I will keep in touch and stay cool. Sincerely, Brandon. Yeah, thanks a lot, Brandon. And, well, having a morning coffee or late night coffee, whatever you have, when listening to the show is much appreciated. I, I don't know how to start a day off. Usually I start my day off with tea and some emails. Could you eat an email? No. I, I usually think toast or cereal is a bit of a better option, personally. Uh, I don't know. I can eat an email, but as, as long as it says, um, no, 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 at the end of the sentence. Put it in the toaster and add some butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, the second thing, uh, when did you start a podcast channel? And um, Well, I think I started four years ago on February 25th, and... It just kept on going and going. Uh, to be honest, I never expected to be on this long. Like, having Nate here again after three years, that was, wow, unexpected. <laughs> Blast from the past. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Back then, the quality of audio was not as good as this, but wow, like, just having things as they are now, it's like, wow. Yeah, it's a, good, it's a good thing we got, like, broadband, well, fiber optic now, and that's really helpful around you. So that's a really good thing. Back then, internet speed was not good. Now it's great. <laughs> it's faster than me. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, <a bit> better. <laughs> uh, Gotta go fast. I'll have to change my nickname then. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, as for guests, almost not related to ponies, uh... It's kind of hard for me to get them because the show is pony centric. So to get non pony people, doable but not easy. And Totera and Toon Critic, that would be something amazing to have them both on. I hope I can do it. Hey, send them the emails, put in the comments. If we get enough people doing it, who knows? They might notice. Yeah, yeah. But Totera and Toon Critic are busy with daily lives, so it's hard for me to plan it out. Well, I'll probably ask and see what I can do. And thanks a lot, Brendan, for the email. Uh, I hope you enjoy our answers and do send more if you have any questions. And Kyle, you still have that picture I sent you a while back? Slightly specific about which picture? The iTunes one? It could be somewhere. I, I, M, 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 M is somewhere. Skype. <laughs> I have seen it somewhere. This is what happens when people message you. Is the fact that everything disappears into the effort behind the scenes. Where are you, picture? I do remember it. It was absolutely fantastic. I kid you not, you'll love it once you see it. Once you hear it. Yeah. Once you hear us talk about seeing it. Oh, there we go. Found it. Found it. Found it. This is actually from our iTunes page, I believe. Someone left us a review. Believe it or not, it was the ever awesome CRC Brony. And in his uh, review, he has wrote, well, first is the title. And I love this. The NBS show is awesome! Five stars. Straight to the point there. I love that CRC. That is straight away we know precisely what you're thinking. But here's the comment he left, right? You guys are sick. I started listening to you in May and ate you up. You taste good. Yay! I decided to leave each new episode that comes out for the worst day of the week for me. Wednesday. But it's not so bad when I have something to listen to. Nor You, Norman Sanzo, relicious, rise with delicious. James Cork and Kyle make everything seem bright. Keep it up and don't stop. Ever. CRC Brony. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting this going through iTunes. Like, I don't know when review comes in or not, so I have to go through every country possible and just look at it manually, and it's annoying. But finding a surprise from UCRC is like, wow, I was not expecting this. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Definitely. Thank you so much for that, CRC. It, honestly, it was a really nice surprise earlier on the week when Norman sent that to me because, you know, I was having a bit of a crummy start to the week. Things weren't going great. And then I got that little thing through Skype from Norman and it was just, it really brightened my day. So thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And with that, those are, well, emails. So, Kyle, want to take us up? Oh, absolutely. Well, I don't know all the tech 
Can you do the technical stuff about where we all are? Because I can't remember all these links. Ah, damn, those hard parts. Well, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the MBS show at gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. SweetieBot's Twitter account is at the MBS show. She'll tweet about this show, retweet this show, and probably talk to you about this show if you talk to her. And you can also reach me on the Twitters. I'm at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy. And currently tickling my fancy is hot chicken soup. Yes, I need to get better. Oh, definitely. Get yourself a nice big bowl of mm-hmm. that and you will be mm. sorted. It'll just be bliss. You'll be there lying in bed after it going, mm, all uh, is well. Uh, and you'll heal better after that as well because it actually helps you sleep long as well, which is really good with bread but, uh, and... Pretty much, if you do fancy a dessert, I say cookies. Yay! Probably. <laughs> nice. We'll try to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about you, Ro? Where can the people find you? You can find me on my Twitter at relicious underscore art, where I reblog other people's cool comics and just toss in random thoughts of the day. Or my DeviantArt gallery at relicious.deviantart.com. And Kyle? Well, you can find me at facebook.com forward slash Kyle McCall, where I write about all the various projects I'm a part of, whether it's my writing projects, the MBS show, or Midnight Scribe's Creative Vibes, which you can find on the Hyle and Bronies YouTube channel, and also the Hyle and Bronies Facebook page, where, sorry, there is one thing I have to mention, sorry, just to deviate for just a moment, my first shipping art just happened this week. Oh my. Someone Ooh. has actually shipped me with them. Yes, that has no happened. No way. Sounds cool. And, yeah. Oh, listen, look, it is absolutely, it is so cute. It is absolutely lovable. And I, you know, what was it? Sugar Dove, the producer of Creative Vibes, the creator of everything and, and my master in life and, <laughs> and in recording. I remember, I'm pretty sure she said at one point that if I end up getting shipping art, that would mean that we've actually made it and it's now happened. So <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to bask in that and enjoy it. But, um, I'll have to send that to you guys later because it is an absolutely great piece. But uh, yeah, sorry, that's that's my um, extra bit of happy news of the week. But uh, Nathan, where can we find you on the web? Uh, well, you can definitely find me through my Tumblr, my DeviantArt. Uh, I create two art collections every day for everyone, 100% free. Uh, you can find me at strikarispeeder.deviantart.com. Uh, or you can also find me on my Tumblr, strikarispeeder.tumblr.com. It's 100% free. So all I need is your OC pony, your cutie mark, and the pony name. And you'll probably have a nice uh, 10 art piece set, uh, all created 100% free, and your own OC pony in the sale of art they have on my Divin Art and Tumblr. And also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on ponyweblive.com. Links are in the show notes. So anyway, Kyle, take us away. Of course. Well, I have been Kyle McCall, a.k.a. Midnight Scribe. I have been Robin Sanzo, the guy who is trying to get better. I am Relicious Rhymes with Delicious. And I am Strikari Speeder, a.k.a. Nathan Barlow, True Heart Collection Creator. Yay. And we will see you all next week for the Never Show. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. What's your favorite character? Ah, oh, well, that's a really difficult one. Um, you're gonna have to give me a quick sec. I think my takeaway just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It just just Discord. I know. It's okay. I'll be back now. Good. Well, that was a <laughs> good way to start the show. Well, we got for the intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs>